So I, I ended up pressing something that I shouldn't have. It should be uh, it should be a little better now. Uh, welcome to a new live stream, guys. We got quite a bit, and uh, yes, it is uh, Friday Night Sen with your host Sen. Uh, how's everybody doing today? How is everybody doing today? So we got a couple topics. Destiny's Twitter ban that happened today. Uh, we got uh, Keffel's gloating about it, of course. I'm sure uh, she had nothing to do with it. I'm sure. Uh, we also have uh, Rakeda Law being targeted by YouTube now. And uh, I got to go into this little thread that I found. And it's an interesting little thread uh, about uh, ah, the truth behind the, the, the Kiwi Farms and the, what do you call it? Like the Kiwi Farms, uh, Keffel's shenanigans, right? It was like a somebody in the Discord posted it. It was an interesting thread, and I thought we could uh, and should look at it. So we're gonna be doing that. We got a bunch of stuff, but first, one one thing, I got to uh, gotta fix this little thing over here. It says stream status poor, so let me fix that right now. Also, Deb, I didn't say this earlier. I said it in the chat, but I'll say it now. Thank you for the generous donation. I appreciate that. So, uh, once again, hit the likes, and uh, let me just resolve this real quick. Watch, watch. It'll be, it'll be done in the snap of my fingers. The snap of my fingers. There you go. So... Yeah, it's almost like it can never be like a normal stream. Like today, I had to, I had to go ahead and run this shit in like administrative mode or something. I don't know. Was 
TG Evans was helping me with some workarounds and stuff, so hopefully we got that settled in. Uh, always. Thank you, Dev. Appreciate it. Too late. Uh, Destiny is iffy, but Keffels is, well, somehow Ham Beast is still not enough of an insult. Destiny, I'd say the worst thing about Destiny is his association with, uh, with Mr. Girl. Let me put the, let me put the timestamps. By the way, I'll be doing this periodically, uh, through the thing. So now that we've started at 6.13, alright? That's the actual start. Alright, start, start, uh, what do we get into first, guys? Um, I, I guess we'll call it Send Monologue, right? Let's just call it a Send Monologue, and then we'll start this at the seven minute mark. Alright, we're doing time stamps because, because we can. Alright, so, Salvo. First, I want to get into a couple other side topics, right? So, Salvo Pancakes, I want to get into Salvo's. Uh, problem. So Salbo has been demonetized, uh, and it it kind of sucks. Let me let me show you guys. So earlier today, Ryan, this happened today. Uh, is the display capture working? Yeah. All right. Uh, earlier today. Can I, holy shit! Does this work? I'm sorry. I had to do like a completely fresh kind of like. Um, what do you call it like I had to completely like um what are, what are the words that I'm looking for I had to completely fix this in a sense um basically uh for uh, like a, a fresh kind of like install right and the reason I had to do the fresh install is because the data might have been corrupted or some shit uh, so let me try to make it look the way I want it to look. Alright. Does it look better? Does it look good like that? I think it looks good. Alright. So, Salvo Pancakes. Um, what do you think? What do you guys think? Looks good? Looks good now or did it look better before? You tell me. You decide. Let me know. I wanna, I wanna make it look good for you guys. Of course, I love you guys. But uh, let me get into this. We are at the eight minute mark. Oh, all right. So, Salbo Pancakes got uh, his channel demonetized, which really fucking sucks. The reason that Salbo's demonetization really sucks a lot, is because, well, uh, you know what? I'll just read the thing and. Um, and we'll, we'll keep the display capture like that for now. Hopefully it looks better. So Salvo says, I made $300 from YouTube this year. I invested thousands into my show, Breaklands. Fireball was designed to give YouTube viewers an exciting event where the community and other creators could win money. I took nothing. This is not about money. It's about a bigger problem. And there was uh, this, if you guys remember this, we went over it actually couple days ago on the stream as well and it's salvo's update on the channel salvo update number one the channel has been demonetized fireball one and two winnings are lost forever my future is dark and dim and salvo's uh videos during a recent review our team of policy specialists carefully looked over the videos you've uploaded to your channel we found that a significant portion of your channel is not in line with our YouTube partner program policies. Woohoo, where have I heard this before? As of today, your channel is not eligible to monetize. You will not have access to monetization tools and features. Please go to your blah, blah, blah. So basically YouTube dropping the ball and not making things exciting anymore. So with this, a bunch of creators, myself included, went ahead and uh, we decided to uh, signal boost this and uh, let YouTube know and this is bullshit. Hey, Team YouTube, even Deaf Noodles agrees that Salvo <laughs> shouldn't be demonetized. And you know how commentary don't really like Deaf Noodles, but even Deaf Noodles went ahead said, Hey man, sorry about your demonetization. I honestly don't wish anyone starting up any negativity, and I hope you get your account back up and running. 
So when Daft Noodles, of all people, is telling you that you should get your account back, that, that says something. Uh, but yeah, but there is probably light at the end of the tunnel. Because Salbo apparently is on Cozy now. Cozy TV. Oh boy. What do you guys know about Cozy TV? Why does this shit keep showing? Wait. Let me see. I don't know. OBS can be buggy as shit. I hate when it does this shit. So annoying. Um, but yeah. Salvo Pancakes back on... Well, not even back on. He's just on Cozy now. Um, doing pretty good. A lot of people are subbing to him. Uh, if you guys don't know about Cozy... Cozy's basically like an alternative free speech um, site of sorts, right? We got people like uh, Nick Fuentes and you see over here Ethan Ralph uh, and and they usually come here and you see Destiny is here as well. So we got all these people. Uh, some people are iffy on going to Cozy, but I mean, hey, if if you can if you can get Salbo unfiltered on a stream uh, platform or something, I think people will follow. And uh, I'm definitely gonna follow him here. I don't know about making a Cozy account. But I'll definitely watch him here. And I think a lot of people should also watch him. That being said, though, um, the show must go on. So we're going to take a look right now at Fireball 3. Because there's been like a little bit of uh, updates. All right. What's my bit rate? My bit rate is kind of low. Why is it bad? <laughs> Wait, what does it look like? If it uh, tell me what it looks like, because uh, right now it's a twenty five hundred. So yeah, I imagine it's a little low, but uh, but let me know how it looks. <laughs> All right, so Salvo's demonetization out of the way. Let's talk about um. Let's talk about Fireball Three. All right. Fireball 3. So <laughs> it, it's fine, Dev. It looks fine. Does it look fine? How's the how does the bitrate look to you guys? Tell me. It's at uh it's at 2500, that's right. Alright. Let me know how it looks like. Uh Fireball 3. These are the people for Fireball 3. So it's uh it's interesting. It's an interesting combination. I mean hey, even my even my head mods in there. So uh let's let's run over this. There are gonna be a couple things actually there's one big thing and it kind of relates to me and I'll tell you I'll tell you about it in a sec. So Fireball's three roster Nicholas the Oreo and Turkey Tom Mudahar and Doe Jangles, his girlfriend, Young Crip, and Matt Pitt. This time Tommy's taking a back seat. Ween and Sleepy. <laughs> uh, Tipster and Jessica Pizzle. Now, the thing with Tipster, um, he deleted this tweet, but he did make a tweet saying he wasn't going to be able uh, to go to Fireball. So, uh, But then Edwin kind of like quote tweeted him, and then Tipster was like, I don't know, he deleted the tweet after, or like he replied to him, and then and then Tipster deleted the tweet, so I don't know if he's actually gonna go again, or I don't know, it's like up in the wind, I guess. It's kind of indecisive shit, I, I don't know what's going on. But I guess Tipster's like 50-50. Maybe he'll go, maybe he won't. Arliss, which is Lieutenant Cobra, and Haha -ha Yeah, who are uh, John Swan's protégés. Essentially, when I told Smart Alec about that, he just typed LMFAO. So, uh, there you go. We got Repsion and uh, his ogre. You know, we got those two. We got Xylus and uh, Chris the Nunce over here. We got Tomato Man, who was. Uh, I guess you could call him Tipster's protege. Tipster's protege. Uh, and I don't know who this is, but it's Tipster's protege. 
We got reactionary media. I have no idea who that is. I don't know who any of the, these two are. Reactionary or Tyler or whatever. Um, media pending. I have no idea who that is. And Ali Jamal. Uh, I've only heard the name Ali Jamal a couple times. Don't know who the fuck they are, though, so it's not important. And this one... Well, this one is the one that's kind of up in the air right now, and I'll tell you why. Let me just read my chat real quick, because I want to... Uh, I want to give it up to you guys. I want to see what's up. So tell me what's going on, chat. It's a Wi-Fi thing, then, or Ethernet? No, it's designed to be the landlord is being a bitch about it. We fixed the Ethernet problem three weeks ago. <laughs> Tipster always has an excuse. Uh, I feel like Salvo may just not know about Odyssey or Rumble. I don't know. He went to Cozy. I mean, Cozy's... What do you guys know about Cozy? Is Cozy really that bad? All right. Okay. So now I'll tell you. The thing about me and Steve's pairing... It might not happen. Me and Steve might not be pairing up, and I'll tell you why. It's not because he doesn't want to. It's because I find it to be a possible liability. Because if I am... If, if there is a blood sports portion to this, and I am to go against Cuxion over here, and the Ogre, I'm going to bury Repsion. I'm going to bury Jane, the man. And I'm going to bury Maya. I'm burying all three of them. Together. Because they deserve each other. And because they're all alike. That's why I can't have Steve being that liability because he's Maya's quote-unquote friend. Or whatever the fuck there. I can't have that liability. I can't have halfway... I, I can't have Steve getting... Uh, in his fields about that. I'm going to destroy Maya. I'm going to bury her. Absolutely. 100%. You think what Slug says is bad? You have no idea. Because I don't like you, Maya. Because I think you fucked everything up. I think your existence fucked everything up. I think, you know, and he won't say it, but I'll say it for him. Your existence fuck Steve's online career for whatever that's worth up his associations and I know he's gonna say he doesn't give a shit <laughs> that's cool buddy I'll say it for you but you fucked everything up Maya your existence you're a disgusting annoying pathetic human being which is why you got along with Dan and librarian and uh, Phil so well because you're all disgusting annoying human beings and you're just like Jane, too. You're just a stupider version of Jane. So I'm going to bury you. And like I said, if you think what Slug says about you is mean, wait till you hear what I have to say about you. But it's okay, because I'll tie it into Repsion. Because, really, when you think about it, the only fucking reason the internet has to thank, the only person the internet has to thank for that disgusting abomination, Maya, being anywhere near any of us, is fucking... Repsion, because he's an idiot, because he's irresponsible, and most importantly, because he's a micro penis cuck. So I'm going to put that burden on you, Dan, and I'm going to bury you, and I'm going to bury your ogre, and I'm going to bury Maya right next to you guys, and I don't need or want anybody being a liability when I do that. That's why me and Steve teaming up is up in the open now. Because I need to be able to go all out. So I'm looking. I'm looking. I, I talked the jar today. I talked the jar. Just the robot. He was down like a clown, Charlie Brown. Unfortunately, he might be busy. I know. People that go outside, man. What can you do? Might be at the bar that night. Who knows? So, maybe I'll choose a crab. Maybe that crab will show up. Maybe the crab won't. Maybe the crab will retreat and he won't want to partner up. Who knows? But we'll see 
And I gotta say, it really is up in the air, man. And it's nothing against my friend Steve. I love my friend Steve. But I, I, I got, I gotta do this, man. I gotta bury these three, and I don't want any liabilities when it comes to that, any. So that's uh, that's the thing about me and Steve right there. Now we got the committed and looking for partners. Got Willie Mac. Willie Mac actually told me who his partner is today. I'm not. I don't know if I if I should disclose. I I won't. Um, but I I know, and that's an interesting pairing. I'll just say that. Petty Page, Michael Alberto, I don't know who this is. Doc on the radio has been confirmed with Smaggle Daggle. Uh, Anonymity, Bo Blacks, and I don't know who this is. Notice how I skipped Dumpy. Dumpy is teaming up with Grimsy. Grimsy, guys. That's right. What about Augie RFC? Augie! is teaming up with his housewife, Connor. Yeah. I had a, I got a couple questions for those. I had a couple questions for Connor. He's the lolly cop after all. Gotta ask him some of those hard-hitting questions about that. Gotta ask him why he doesn't keep that same energy. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got I Bully Bullies, the sweetest sensation, and my head ma, Gigi Evans! Gigi Evans is like Phil if Phil was good. Hey man, I would be 100% down. But that's all on my, that's all on Redski. You know, you can be a shy crab that one. So we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, we got my head mod representing uh, all of us in the Discord server, right? Well, except for me, because I'll be there. But you know what I mean. He'll be representing all of you. He's going to be representing the Zand. He's going to be representing Zikuru. He's going to be representing Deb. Uh, anybody else who's there, I swear I know more than three people. But he's going to be representing you guys. GG Evans with his not Lego avatar. Look at that shit right there. And, uh, and I bully bullies, too. The the sweetest sensation. The new kid on the block. I mean, he's fucking 30-something, but whatever. <laughs> Shut up. Don't question me. So here we go. That's the lineup, boys. That's the lineup as it stands. I, I gotta ask you guys. I'll ask you guys the question. What do you guys think of that lineup? What do you guys think of that lineup? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me uh, timestamp. Send as dementia. Send in GG's group. Better make it past round two. I swear. Uh, I ain't from a land, land down under or a doctor, but I do like to sing. <laughs> I remember Sal making fun of Augie and Connor for playing footsies, and then Sal proceeded to show uh, picture <laughs> evidence. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you guys decide that. Uh, oh my God, chill. <laughs> Tell me. Uh, actually, yeah. Let, let's go over to Destiny Band now, because I want to get into that. And we got the, the side stuff. Let's get into the Destiny Band. So earlier today, we had this happen. The Omni Liberal account suspended. Twitter suspends accounts that violate the Twitter rules. The Omni, uh, the Omni liberal. That that was Destiny uh, on on Twitter. Recently, Destiny has been feuding with Keffels. Um, Destiny has even thought about taking Keffels to court for defamation, which they've done. They they've called Destiny a rapist, um, amongst other things. Right? They called him a rapist. They've called. Uh, <laughs> Destiny, a doxer recently, too. Called him a doxer, called him a rapist. Um, what else? Tell him a bunch of other stuff. Supporter of Kiwi Farms, etc., etc., etc. Pretty sure there are more colorful words out there. It's a lot of documentation. So, he got taken out today. Never forget, by the way, here, here's some things to note. For those not keeping track at home, Keffels has lied about getting swatted. 
Lied about getting doxxed by Kiwi Farms. Lied about Destiny. Lied about Josh Moon. Lied about the deaths of Nier. Uh, Clo Chloe, Se Chloe Seagal. I'm just going to call it Chloe Seagal because I don't know if this Chloe Seagal, whatever. And Julie Terryberry. Hashtag Keffels lied. And we got a statement from Police Chief Williams over here. Things to note in this statement. Miss Sorrentini was released unconditionally from custody and all of her belongings have been returned to her. Keffels has her computer and stuff back. Officers did not conduct what is sometimes referred to, referred to as a dynamic entry into Miss Sorrentini's residence. Rather, they knocked on the door, announced themselves as police officers, and occupants answered. Any attempt by an uninvolved third parties to suggest otherwise is inaccurate and irresponsible. Officers did not break into Keffel's house. Just like if you guys remember, Keffel's initially said, and you can see now, it was a lie. We're seeing a pattern of behavior here. But those people on their side, they won't give a fuck. They don't care. They don't care about lying. That's what you gotta remember. They don't care. So, this brings me to the allegations as to how Miss Sorrentini was addressed during the time in the London police custody using an incorrect name, her dead name, and gender. While I cannot confirm any conversation which might have transpired during Miss Sorrentini's initial arrest, Activity in our holding cells monitored by audio and video equipment. At no time while she was in our holding cells did members of our police service address Ms. Sorrentini by her dead name and gender. I personally reviewed the recordings and find out our officers were polite, respectful, and professional. Officers were not dead naming Keffels, which she claimed. The reference to Ms. Sorrentini's uh, former name appears to stem from the existence of prior police records. When an individual comes into contact with police for whatever reason, an entry is made into our records management system using the name provided at that time. The reporter is merged with prior reports, if any, involving the same person with the same date of birth. Where an individual has a change of name or has a nickname or alias, those would be linked with the primary name of file explains why her dead name was used in the evidence labels. Police are not normally notified when someone legally changes their name. Sir Renty. I see what you did there. <laughs> Thank you for that. What else do we got here? Next image. Jesse Single. Now, this is one of the things that I wanted to look at. It's actually one of the um, one of the one of the things I put on the docket a thread, but this is one of them. I try not to spread this doxing site's name around to normie, so I know this will be a less than compelling screenshot. But there's like a 99% chance that some of the shit Keffels has experienced came from this site, which is notorious and where she's been pinned since A22, right here. Next image. Can you please stop making allusions to the site that has the docs of my entire family? Uh, this is a deleted tweet, I believe. I haven't talked about it and asked journalists not to mention it because I don't want to put my family at risk. There's no reason for you to be sharing this information. Right here. Next image. Put it up. Weird, I dated Chloe Sagal for almost two years and this is the first time I'm hearing of it. Her uh, self-delete notes specifically reference systematic struggles with maintaining a home and adequate mental health care with low income being the reason she deleted herself to send a message. Once again, Keffel's using the tragedy of another person for their own benefit. And there you go. Once again, for those of you that haven't kept up, not keeping track at home, Keffel's lied about getting swatted. Keffels lied about getting doxxed by Kiwi Farms. Keffels lied about Destiny. Keffels lied about Josh Moon. Keffels lied about the deaths of these three individuals for her own or his own benefit. Depends on what you want to call them. I'm personally of the, uh, of the mindset that you should not respect those that do not respect um, just common human de decency, you know? Ah, uh, 
how did I get here? I hung a left at Ricada's and I think I'm lost. We'll be going over Ricada. Um, actually, I might end up doing a, uh, a little interview with him. Uh, so, yeah, I might end up doing that. I'm still working out the details. I, I talked to him about it. But, yeah, we just got to work out the details because of scheduling and whatnot. So, uh, so we'll see. So we'll see. All right. Uh, next thing on the docket. All right. We went over that. But who is responsible for Destiny's van, you might ask? Uh, well, hold on. Let's, uh, let's put some timestamps up first. Uh, who do you guys think is responsible for Destiny's van? Can you, can you, can you fathom a guess? Can you fathom a guess? About Lee, our good friend Keffels, uh, is the one that, uh, is kind of taking, kind of taking, uh, whatchamacalls it, like, <laughs> it's better if I just show you. Also, uh, Gigi Evans, just so you know, I did the, I did the refresh and all right uh you know i did the 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 fucking clean reinstall and i and i did the run as administrator shit we just had this issue again so i don't know bro uh it might be it might be something else you might want to troubleshoot it even more or try to let me know uh what's what when it comes to this shit because i mean if we just had the same problem i guess you know, it wasn't that, but we'll see. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So, Destiny was permanently banned from Twitter today for hateful conduct. I'm now live and about to discuss my thoughts on this. Um, Caffles went live. But, if you can see this, they actually submitted a report for hateful conduct. And the violation was found. So... They got this report. We suspended the Omni Liberals account for breaking our hateful conduct rule. You know how corrupt Twitter can be. We know all this shit already. Which led to the suspension of the account. And they go ahead and they show that it was their uh, submitted report. So they submitted three reports, I believe, based over this. Three of them violations were found. And there you go. Taking a little bit of a, a victory lap as well as other people over here. So interesting. Apparently it was Keffels along with their uh, firing squad that ended up taking out Destiny off of Twitter. Not good. Additionally, they go ahead to say Stephen Bunnell, aka Destiny, threatened to sue me over saying he is connected to Kiwi Farms. This drive contains dozens of examples of how he is. We'll go over that drive at a later date. But, um, yeah, apparently, Caffles is trying to make the argument that Destiny doesn't have a case. Because there is plenty of proof, allegedly, in this drive that will prove um, that Destiny has a connection to Kiwi Farms. Interesting stuff. So, overall. Um, uh, let me see. Should I turn down the music, guys? Let me see. Oh, man, I forgot to... Yeah, let me, let me get rid of that real quick. Yo, what's up, Willie? How's it going, buddy? Did you make your... Did you make your partner... Uh, what do you call it? Did you make your partner... Oh, uh, what's the word? Did you tell... Did you tell... <laughs> I'm trying to sound fancy over here. I should just say, did you fucking tell your partner? Or did you tell people who your partner is going to be? <laughs> because when you told me, I thought it was quite interesting. It wasn't... It wasn't who I thought it was. Because I thought that person would have been paired with, like, somebody else. You know? I thought they were going to be paired with somebody uh, somebody else. So it was an interesting, it was interesting. Let me see. Give me just a second. Wait, you didn't see it happen on stream? What the fuck? That's weird. Alright. Let me close Discord. Maybe that's what's fucking up. Oh yeah, also another quick update on Keffels. We went over this on stream as well. 
the other day. Um, they reached out to the Portuguese company that was hosting Kiwi Farms again. Um, and they talked to them, basically snitched out. Uh, Keffel says the CEO of Dime Wall reached out to me and said, as a result of dropping Kiwi Farms, Kiwi Farms users are review bombing this newly established company. Would mean a lot if you could help him not get punished for doing the right thing and leave a good review. So, uh, hey, how are you doing? Sorry to sir. I just want to say that uh, the hate stopped at least by your side, but now I'm getting attacked by users of Kiwi Farms. I don't even care about they talking uh, directly to me, but would it be great if my company wasn't affected by it? I mean, they started to give us bad reviews on Google, for example. I don't know the legitimacy of, of that. I don't know if it's true. Um, I don't know. Caffles goes on to say he's a really nice guy. I was really surprised because normally the tech people never want to talk to me. But he was a younger guy with a pregnant wife who just wanted to do the right uh, by his community and family. I really admire his principles. Thank you, everyone, for showing business owners that there is a reward for not platforming hate. And again, I do believe this is the Portuguese company we went uh, over yesterday. In regards to Kiwi Farms being back up on their domain and Caffles immediately... Uh, not being very very fond of that, uh, got in contact with them, and that there that is where we are now. I got to tell you, making the timestamps in real time is a pain in the ass. So, GG, I'm gonna ask you today to do the timestamps on you know, <laughs> please. You have not. Are you going to tell the audience, Willie? Are you gonna tell the people? The people want to know, Willie. The people want to know. I'm kind of kicking myself for not taking uh, your invite the first time. No, no, no. That was great. I don't know if you saw it, Willie. Uh, the, the, me and Steve versus Tommy and Matt. That was fun. That was fun. Although, I will say, and I already told him, Steve did drop the ball at the end. I did not appreciate that. Bonds are like lighter news, I guess. Lighter news for now. Um, let me timestamp this. Shit. I'm going to talk a little bit about, about Flamenco. Because I love... You know I love that. So, Flamenco, Flamenco, Flamenco. Oh boy, Flamenco. Send play this, it's funny. I'll do it later. <sighs> Flamenco has been trying to get Jim Medeker's attention ever since, you know, their relationship went to shit because, you know, Flamenco's weird. So, after uh, Medeker wouldn't respond to him anymore, Flamenco decided to go to the next best thing. <laughs> to go to Destiny now. Um, I don't know how you guys feel. I don't know how Willie feels. I think Mr. Girl is a pedophile. Um, and I think it's weird that Destiny is alright with, with Mr. Girl. But I'm sure there's a logical reason to that. Uh... I, 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 you guys, okay, but, but the point is, Destiny is, is still fucking cool with Mr. Girl, and I think Mr. Girl's a pedophile, a lot of people think Mr. Girl's a pedophile for the most part, but whatever, um, so I guess Flamenco, in his infinite wisdom, thought, hey, this guy's cool with pedophiles, I'm a pedophile, let me go in there and talk to Destiny, maybe, <laughs> okay, maybe, but he wants to, he wants to, <laughs> he wants to call in the Destiny for some reason, he had to pay to call in. And then, after that, this happened, which I thought was really fucking funny. Uh, Nicholas DiOrio says he fucking ran. He challenged me, and he ran. You see this uh, little interaction here. Let's see what this is on September 15th. Nicholas DiOrio says, uh, copies and pastes this little interaction. Uh, I'm noticing a lot of similarities to Ralph and Nick. So this is like... <laughs> Right off the bat, this is kind of a cope because it's like, uh, like, what the fuck? Like, how? Like, no, if anything, I see and we see a lot of similarities between you and Ralph, which is why, you know, a main reason why you got fucking kicked out of your group or something for the most part, this about or whatever. It wasn't even that you're a pedo, right? It was just that you're fucking, you're like Ralph, right? That that was really the the straw that broke the the camel's back. It wasn't even that you're a pedophile. It was just that, oh, 
He's acting a lot like Ralph, like a like a rebar. Cause like up to this one, nobody, none of them want to call you a pedo for some reason. It's almost as bizarre as like with the Craig Beckett shit, right? Everybody knows Craig Beckett's a pedophile. Tommy doesn't want to. Tommy C. Tommy doesn't want to call him a pedo for whatever reason. But it's like okay, whatever. It's weird. It's weird, but whatever. Flamenco's coping. He's saying that there's similarities between Nick DiOrio and Ralph, which again a little bizarre, but whatever. Uh, person says, ha ha ha, Nick, do you want to chat? I don't know what the fuck that, that is. I guess he wants to chat with him? I don't know. Uh, Nick, Nick replied with this and said, yes, live okay. Flamenco says no, after making this stupid little sound over here. Nick says, backing out. Flamenco says, why the fuck would I let you griff more off me, you bloated carcass? Um... I I don't know. This sentence doesn't make sense to me because it's like, what what do you mean by grift out of you? Like flamenco, your popularity. I don't know if you're aware of this. I don't know if it's the autism, but your popularity has drastically dropped. Uh, like ever since you know that whole debacle with with Salvo. Like because people realize that you can't take a joke. Uh, people realize how easy it is to shit on you. Uh, some people realize that you're like a pedo, which again, you know, I mean, fuck. You would think that's the first thing, but you know, whatever. Anyway, that's like, all, all this shit has like, your stock has dramatically gone down. <laughs> Ralph has fathered a lot of little bastards. Thank you. But, um... Yeah, your stock is down. You bled like a thousand subscribers, I think. It, it, it's like, I don't know if you're, you're... I think you're still bleeding subs, too. You make a community fucking post, and the first thing they tell you to do is jump. So I don't know if, if you realize... I don't think he needs to grift any money off of you, I, if that's what you're trying to say. And if you mean you just don't want him to get money out of making fun of you, I don't know why you would even continue to try to talk to him this makes no sense it's it's stupid it's uh, whatever and and so nick diorio says you offered and he's he's laughing his, his little ass off over here as you can see that flamenco says chat means uh talk live for superberries nick legit do you have a learning disability but why do you want to fucking talk to him either way you fucking idiot he's one of like let's be real here uh i'm not trying to i'm not trying to shit on nick for doing this i thought i thought this was the greatest one of the greatest things he's ever fucking done but he's one of the main reasons you're not taken seriously anymore he's one of the main reasons you got fucking basically kicked from your fucking group in a sense I mean, you did that to yourself. You finished the job off, right? It'll get me wrong, but Nick literally, he kind of got the ball rolling on that end, right? Because if it wasn't for him coming in and saying, okay, Augie, no, you're not going to do this shit. This is where it ends. This is where I'm burning the bridge. You're not going to damage control for this idiot. If that didn't have happened, if that wouldn't have happened, Fomenko, I, I think you would still be around being a nuisance. Uh... So I don't know why you're going and you're trying to, like, bend over for the guy that, that that's the reason for you, like, losing a lot of your credibility. It makes no fucking sense. It's like some weird submissive shit. It's weird. Flamenco, you're in no position for that insult. And uh, and that's how, that's all they, they showed. I don't know. I don't know if things kept going. Don't know if things kept going, but I thought this was... <laughs> This was really, really funny. And apparently, so I don't know if you guys know who Dame Pesos is, but Dame Pesos uh, came back today, apparently on YouTube, and he's back. And apparently, Flamenco showed up in Dame Pesos' chat and got chased off because everyone started calling him a pedophile. <laughs> you see here, Flam showed up in chat earlier and everyone started calling him a pedophile. <laughs> calling him a pedophile. Flamenco's cope goes back once again. What can I say? The Orioles fans are neurotic. So there you go. But here's the thing, Flamenco. It's not just the Orioles fans calling you a pedo. Alright? It's like literally fucking everybody. 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 
It's not just limited to the Oreos. It's not people. It's not a case where it's only people that dislike you. It's just like literally everybody. You know? It, it's a universal fact at this point. Right? How you got away with this for so long is beyond me. Right? It, it's fucking staggering. Wait, I know how. Because Augie fucking defended you. And you didn't give a shit. You, you took it for granted, Flamenco. You took it for granted. Let me put it in perspective for you. You're basically doing shit and have done shit that Tommy called out Digibro for doing, like, in, what was that, 20 what? What was it, Willie, if you're still here? 2016, 2017? Didn't fucking Tommy actually call the FBI on Digibro? <laughs> the same shit you did, Flamenco. The same shit. It's fucking disgusting, bro. But yeah... How you got away for so, for this shit so long? I'll, I'll never understand. But uh, but yeah, let's cl let's close up these tabs, all right. Next thing we gotta go over, I wanna go over the Ricada stuff. Tipster and Keffel's team up to feed kids churros. <laughs> Stone Mexican dude. Flam just has to go full black pill and not give a fuck. He's not gonna be able to though, Willie. He's not going to be able to because he, he cares too much about what people on the internet think of him. He wants to be like. Like, I, I think Josh Moon. Josh Moon had a good idea of what was wrong with him. He wants to be he wants to be like the internet dad. He wants to be uh, Jim Medeker. So, unfortunately, it's not going to happen. Because Jim Medeker might have been a weeb. But Jim Medeker never watched Boy Soprano. And Jim Medeker was never as stupid as fucking Flamenco. Anyway. Next thing. I want to look at Nick Ricada's channel being attacked. By YouTube. And we're going to watch this video here. It's called... Right, let me pull it up for you guys. Hold up. Make sure you put this here. So, this video right here. My channel is under attack. How YouTube is caving to a perpetual victim and serial liar. Now, because they say perpetual victim and serial liar, I'm going to automatically assume that it's about Keffels. And as we've gone over already in the beginning of the stream, Keffels is a uh, perpetual victim and a serial liar. So, you know... We're going to go ahead and uh, let's read the description. Hey, you may have been wondering where I've been for the past two weeks. Well, as it turns out, YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch are all perfectly happy to allow mass flagging and harassment campaigns on their platform, even though it's against their TOS to do so. Make sure to support all tech. All my links are down below. And then you have a link to his Rumble, his Odyssey, and Locals. So alternative places to go um, just in case. Because they did, he did get some bullshit strikes. I know recently, a lot of people have been getting bullshit strikes uh, recently. Like, thank you for subscribing. A lot of people have been getting bullshit strikes recently. We had Grimsy. Grimsy got strikes. Salvo just plain out got demonetized. And now we have uh, Rikeda here getting strikes as well. When you get strikes on the channel, you can't really do anything. And we went over this yesterday. And we saw how it really affects the channel and it cripples your, it cripples everything. It cripples your growth. It, 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 some people think you just flat out because you can't make community posts. You can't upload or whatever. Some people just flat out think you've given up on your channel, but it's really that, you know, well, you can't say shit. You can only reply to comments or something. I remember. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, we're going to watch this video. Let's uh, play it. Hopefully he doesn't talk too slow. Maybe put it at 1.2 just in case. See what's up. All right, let's, let's see this. What's up, YouTube? I'm back. Where have you been, though? You may be wondering. I've been actually streaming on other platforms. But not really by choice. It's because YouTube struck me with a two-week suspension. Now, what did you do, Nick? Oh, well, that's the mystery, isn't it? What did I do? Well, I can tell you what I did not do. I did not call for violence or organized harassment against any individual or group of individuals at all. I have never done that, and I don't do that. However, 
some individual actually lied. Some individual that is platformed by YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch utilized their platform, utilized their platform to organize a false campaign against me based on my expressions of opinions about their very illegal activities. Now, what happened is, after that, a bunch of the goon squad decided to mass flag my channel and YouTube caved into that report without really doing anything to verify if it was in fact true or if the quotes attributed to me have ever actually occurred. So, in regards to this, like, the first thing that comes to mind, too, because I'm not going to ignore that this happened, uh, Mr. Girl, let me see if I can find his, uh, let me see if I can find the tweet relating to this. But Mr. Girl, uh, Mr. Girl returns or whatever. Mr. Girl, um... Oh boy, what to what to say about Mr. Girl? Um He's a piece of shit. He's a manipulator. He beat the shit out of his girlfriend. He's a pedophile. Um There's a lot of things to say about Mr. Girl. Uh he's a pussy, too. I saw his little performance in the Drunken Peasants. Uh it reminds me of like a, a former Discord Spurg that I used to talk to. Um, basically they'll go behind your backs and they'll talk all the shit and they'll be like, they'll feel really at home with like vulnerable people. Right. And then when you put them on the spot and you light them up, all of a sudden it's like, Oh, I'm a victim. I'm not having fun anymore. I'm going away. That's what this pussy does. So he was trying to get, uh, in a panel with Ricardo or he was trying to get on Ricardo's, uh, recently. But another thing that happened to him recently was that he was struck by what people presume to be groipers um and he tagged team youtube um he got I, I believe it was for child endangerment or something uh which is probably the best thing he could get struck for technically which you could kind of see like it being like yeah maybe um due to literally like i don't fucking know like uh, i don't know uh, I guess I have a hard time understanding. Like, I, I have very... Uh, it's kind of like the free speech thing. It's like... Uh, you want to be a free speech absolutist. But it's difficult. Because sometimes people just abuse it in a sense, right? So you, you like, tread the line of what free speech absolutism actually is. Uh, for me, like, I, I don't know. A lot of people were qual calling in, in the Actman drama for Quantum TV to be deplatformed, essentially. Um, I wasn't one of those people because I just found his shit to be, like, comical, if anything. Like, I found his shit to be annoying. Uh, I found the things he did to the Actman to be comical. Like, the calling of his mother, he sounded like a fucking clown. Uh, so I didn't take it as, as something, like, super fucking evil. And it's like, oh, how dare you, like, you know? Uh... I don't know. I just thought it would be funny to keep him there. Uh, and he, he wasn't a pedo. But, like, Max Carson just really toes that line. And he does it so... Sh like, he has no shame in it, either. That's the thing. Uh, he had no shame when he brought in... Uh, and I'm not trying to moral fake for, for, for Bo Blacks or anything. But I'm just going to point out a fucking fact. And how it might make other people feel. Because Bo Blacks isn't my friend. <laughs> you know, we... Uh, I talk to him, like... like Pat, like it's like a high and buy thing right he's not my friend uh but like the fact of the matter is mr girl is such a piece of shit and he'll just take this guy's dilemma that he had with his sister right he'll try to go to bat in fact let, let's find the tweet actually because i believe uh as salvo would call him sonic josh still has that tweet up because i don't think mr sonic josh is the biggest fan here you go well actually this is perfect this is this is perfect oh my goodness there you go oh my goodness this is this is a lot oh my god Oh my god. Let me see. Let me... Okay, this one. I think this one's the per this one's the perfect uh one right here. 
Uh, do, 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 do. Has to be false to shrug it off. Flamenco fails. Flamenco's a walking. Uh, <laughs> Sen gets falsely called a pedal all the time. Show him the way. I forgot Tommy called the FBI. Yeah, Tommy. Dude, Tommy. Didn't Tommy call the FBI on fucking uh, Pescator for wanting, like, saying that he was gonna, like, rape Nick or some shit? Um. <laughs> Also, Willie, I got I got called a pedo because Aiden's mod, I didn't like reciprocate his sexual advances towards me. Um and then Jane Escobar started calling me like a doxer and I was like, Phil, what the fuck, you piece of shit? And then he was like, Mate, you have the audacity to get angry at this mate, but not deny it. I'm like, the fuck are you talking about? It's cause you're calling me a doxer with no proof, dumbass. Like of course you're gonna get mad about it. Um, so yeah, it was, I didn't reciprocate, uh, Aiden's mod sexual advances. Uh, he had been flirting with me for like three months. It was fucking weird. He's some old fat guy from Sydney, Australia. He's a lot of weird, like, these are weird people, Willie. Like, the commentary community is full of, like, weird people. Uh, and then the guy started, like, he made up, like, some, I, apparently there was a 17-year-old that was, like, sexting or some shit. So, like, a Big B situation, I guess. I guess he thought, oh, Mate, this could totally stick, mate. Aiden, defend me. Kill him, Aiden. Kill him. And uh, that didn't work out. So, I mean, what can I say? Australians, am I right? Anyway, this is the perfect example. And I'm not going to, like, I've, I've given up on the fucking timestamps. I'm sorry. I can't fucking do it. All right, GG Evans, I need you to work overtime. Uh, God bless your heart, please. I'm sorry, but I, I really do need you to, to do this. All right, because I can't. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to have to, like, hire Zakuru or something, and, like, he just, he's just the rapper, all right? He's literally, he is my, he is my chat rapper, all right? That's, uh, I don't know. I, I can't hire him for more than one thing to do, all right? And I don't want to hire Chilled or something. Chilled's got a lot going right now. Chilled is fighting Buster Live right now. That's his rival, apparently. Uh, Buster's getting angry. He, he's popping off on Twitter. Um... Kind of low-key getting ratioed again, which is, like, bad because I think that's what pisses Buster off the most when he gets ratioed. Um, Somebody is going to fucking... <laughs> yeah, so, you know. With some of the stupid shit say? that you fucking say. Send just play my video for Willy. What, what's the... Just send it to me on Discord. I'll fucking open Discord up for you. You know you know my policy with, with fucking links, GG Evans. Make sure you you do them, them timestamps, though. Timestamps are very important. So send it send it to me on Twitter. I mean on Discord. Let's go. Come on. Uh I'll play it after this segment. Alright. Thank you for that though. Appreciate it. Alright. So Mr. Girl the Pedophile. This was on March 17. If you remember. And this is still, like, the question of the day, right? Um, it's like, if you're very anti-pedophile, why would you be okay with Mr. Girl showing up? Like, I don't get it, and I just want a simple fucking answer. Look, if you if you were to tell me it's just for clout, man, or it's just, to, it's just for a show, for a fucking show, I would have been like, all right, fine. But the, the, the fucking one time, and this is how I got banned off Augie's chat, mind you. It's really funny. It wasn't for, for shitting on him. It was just like, I literally said, Augie, you're humoring this fucking freak, laughing my ass off. And then he uh, he banned me for that. I got banned for, I got banned for asking Augie why he was humoring a pedophile. Like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> like, that's so, that's so stupid. That's so dumb. Oh. Uh, you know, I would it, I would have understood if I was like, yo, you're a pedophile defender, you know, take this out. But I literally said, why are you humoring this fucking pedophile? You know, <laughs> and yes, Mr. Girl has done shit that warrants him being called a fucking pedophile. I'll counter sue. Fuck it. Fuck it. He is a fucking weirdo. I'll counter sue. Fuck you. Fuck you, Max Carson. How about that? So Mr. Girl. I'll drain what you have left, Max. Whatever money you have left. So how about this? Mr. Girl. This is Josh Blacks over here saying, Mr. Guy Earl has the audacity to cry in my DMs uh, about me 
Uh, reiterating his weird stance on thinking it's normal to lust over 16 year olds as an older adult in a tweet reply after he defended my sister's real life pedophile groomer on a live stream yeah i'm the bad guy here fuck off now um you know one of the defenses for this and the copes will automatically be like oh josh blacks is cool with mr girl now doesn't matter because this shit actually happened so i don't give a fuck you know, I don't want to hear, oh, they're cool now. They're touching tips. I don't fucking care, bitch. This fucking happened, and I'm bringing it up anyway to prove a fucking point. You know? <laughs> uh, Gigi Evans, did you send me that? Did you send me that? Uh, yeah, you did. Oh, the measured response shit? Just, uh, I'll just send it to him. Let me quit Discord before it lags the shit out of my stream. Uh, yeah, kind of. All right. Okay, Mr. Josh Black, let's continue on. So, he continues on to say, by the way, he only DM'd me after uh, about this, uh, about his disgusting comments. All right. About my sister's traumatic experience after I ripped him a new one on his stream. Where I was very clearly upset. Mr. Girl only cares when he looks bad in the public. Hence why he's so triggered at me tweeting about him negatively. Mr. Girl is 100% a cloud chasing leech. Uh, cloud chaser leeching on to any attention from bigger creators or stories to spread his pseudo intellectualism. To justify the fact that he's horny for teenagers as a 36 year old adult. The world will never accept your perversions. Get help instead of coping online. And that pretty much perfectly sums up who uh, Max Carson is, right? Who Mr. Girl is. But because I'm going to make this a clip, most likely, I'm going to read it over. Mr. Girl has the audacity to cry in my DMs about me reiterating his weird stance of thinking it's normal to lust over 16-year-old as an older adult in a tweet reply after he defended my sister's real-life pedo groomer on a live stream. Yeah, I'm the bad guy here. Fuck off. By the way, he only DM'd me after his disgusting comments about my sister's traumatic experience after I ripped him a new one on his stream, where I was very clearly upset. Mr. Girl only cares when he looks bad in the public, hence why he's so triggered at me tweeting about him negatively. Mr. Girl is 100% a clout chaser, leeching onto any attention from bigger creators or stories to spread his pseudo-intellectualism to justify the fact that he's horny for teens as a 36-year-old adult. The world will never accept your perversions. Get help instead of coping online. And this is the proof, well, one of the proofs, of why Mr. Girl is a fucking pedophile. And why I never understood why the fuck it was like... Like, for example, uh, I didn't welcome back Zero. I don't like fucking Zero. Willie, we bonded over that literally the other day. You don't like Zero? I don't fucking like Zero. GG. But you know what else? I don't like Mr. Girl. <laughs> like, you know, that's my, that's my consistency, I guess, if anything. Because if Zero is bad, Mr. Girl definitely is fucking bad. And I don't, I don't know, right? I don't know why anybody would talk to these people, right? Like, personally, Mr. Girl is definitely a more extreme, right? Because he continues to do this and he just fucking does this, like, rootlessly. Like, at the very fucking least, right? If we're, if we're gonna fucking... <clears throat> what do you call it? Go by who's worse in this scenario a little bit. Mr. Girl does this shit, right? Uh, at, at least Zero ain't doing this, right? And Mr. Girl's what? Like, 36 and he's getting turned on by 16-year-olds? No, wait, not even. What were the, the cuties chicks, right? Were they like 12 or some shit? Like, what the fuck? Like, there's obviously... One guy here that's more of a fucking freak. And that's Max Carson. You know? <laughs> so, again, I just want it to make sense. I just want to know why Mr. Petto, you know, is, is like, why, why it's a big deal to cry about Mr. Petto getting deep flop. Like, I don't care. Because Mr. Girl is a weird pedo. And he does shit like this. This literally happened. This is something that happened. This. He did all this. 
And this is to somebody he's an associate with for the most part. At least, I guess, by proxy by Augie or something. So, no, I'm sorry. I'm not I'm not up in arms about Mr. Girl getting deplatformed because he's a fucking pedophile. Um, and there you go. That's how we went from this part of <laughs> Rikana talking about deplatforming for the one minute mark. And then we go into this... I go into this uh, shit about Mr. Girl, but I just, it was just too good. It was too good, bro. I'm sorry. It was, it was, it would have been a missed opportunity, I guess you could say. So. Uh, he admitted cuties aroused him all the evidence you need. Yeah, that would be evidence number two. Max Carson abused his ex-wife. That would be number three. Mr. Girl was even laughing about it with President Sunday the other day, including him abusing his girlfriend. Mr. Pedo, Mr. Girl is absolutely a freak. He's like, bro, Mr. Girl is like zero on steroids, all right? If you think zero is bad, right? Then Mr. Girl is just like the evolved form, like a Pokemon, right? <laughs> like, no, seriously, he's, I, I just, like, you go from like zero, what is it? The ice cubes in the pussy to Mr. Girl just saying, oh, this pedophile groomer is not a bad guy, Josh. You know, it's all your sister's fault, you piece of shit. Fuck you and your autism, right? It's like, what the fuck? It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I get that you guys are hung up on the ice cubes on the pussy bit, and that's, yeah, understandable, but this fucking guy over here, right? This guy is saying that, uh... Bo Black's sister is, like, to blame for this shit in some way. And I'm not even trying, again, I'm not trying to moral it. I'm just pointing it out. You know, wouldn't that be crossing the line a little bit? Wouldn't that be a little more extreme? I don't know. Is it just because, like, I, I, I just don't even know, bro. Is it is it the internet, like, connection thing? Because, like, Mr. Girl is friends with Destiny or something? I remember hearing that. Like, I saw that in the chat. I think it was, like, a mask off moment. I won't say who it was. But they were like, Mr. Pedo is okay because he's friends with Destiny. I was like, lol. Could, could it be that simple? Could it be that simple? Could you just be a pedophile but be friends with a famous person? And that will, like, somehow cancel out the pedophilia. <laughs> it's weird, right? <laughs> it's super fucking weird, bro. Like, I don't, I don't get it. Whatever. Here's a hint. They have not. Many of you have probably been following me on the other platforms, Rumble and Odyssey, where I've been streaming, or you smartly follow me on RicadaLaw.Locals.com, which is the best place to get communications in case anything like this ever happens again. And you can sign up for free, so maybe check it out. I'll put the link in the description. But that being said, if you had followed me there, you would already have known what was going on. And over the past couple days, I've seen so many comments where people are asking, where's Nick? What's happening? Is this channel dead? What's going on? You haven't streamed in like two weeks. Oh, believe me, I've streamed, just not here, because I was not allowed to, because other people lied about me and YouTube system is so broken that they just capitulated to it without even giving me a chance to argue, to talk about it, to explain, to provide context, or to simply show that what was said about me wasn't true and never happened. But the interesting thing about this isn't what happened to me, it's what won't happen to the weirdo who caused this to occur. Said weirdo does this on all of these platforms with regularity, playing a perpetual victim narrative that somehow their life is unceasingly in danger when all of the evidence on earth points to the exact opposite, that not only is their life in literally zero danger, but their life is actually booming with hundreds of thousands of dollars coming in off of this victim narrative, taking extended trips overseas to avoid hate or maybe just to avoid, I don't know, a search warrant that was executed upon them for potentially very unlawful activity that they've openly talked about online. I'm not sure which one it is, but I have an inkling of what it might be. This person is on a crusade against other people for merely having opinions, opinions that they don't like, which, by the way, is fine. You can take your opinions and fist yourself with them for all I care. It doesn't matter to me what your opinion of me is or what my opinion of you is shouldn't matter to you. But that being said, I have not, did not, and never will call for violence or harassment of another person. My advice is always just to ignore them because they're idiots and laugh at them from far away. Somehow, that advice has turned into calling for death, which is not true. But that being said, I am back. Streaming will start up very, very soon again here on YouTube. And I am looking forward to seeing all of you. I just wanted to provide this update since I've only been let back on the platform within the past hour. I am working on getting this stuff resolved and I am working on gathering all sorts of evidence about it to provide to my contacts at YouTube to show that this is a coordinated campaign that has gone on. 
Some of that evidence has yet to arrive, but when it does, boy, is it going to be fun. Because I'm guessing, based on the organized harassment campaign against me on Twitter, that I will have several Minnesota Bar complaints. That's right. More fan mail's coming. And you know what happens when I get fan mail. It gets read online. We get to laugh about it. And we get to uh, just chuckle away at the feeble nature of these people's attempts to have people destitute in the street without a means of employment. Because it never stops at deplatforming someone from something like YouTube. They then can't work anywhere else. Remember, for all of the victim uh, mentality and narrative that these people espouse, that's, that's their only content, by the way. All they can be is a victim, which means they must always be a victim. They must perpetually be at the mercy of the rest of the world in inches away from death at all times. Otherwise, they don't make money. They can't produce content because they are uninteresting. They're only interesting in their victimhood to the people who watch them. To people who laugh at them, they're interesting for all sorts of other reasons, like, I don't know, a fart porn collection, for example. That career didn't work out. I wonder why they transitioned into being a victim. I'm not so sure, but maybe we'll find out in the future. That being said, Despite all of their uh, lamenting over their constant state of danger and people wanting them dead, almost no one, by the way, actually wants them dead or even cares if they <laughs> live or die, if they're completely indifferent. They want other people removed from any ability to speak or earn in any capacity, in any place, in any profession, ever. They will hound you until the end of your life. And they hope it's sooner rather than later because they determined in their mind what you must think. And that is the danger of the current economy that we are in and I pray it never happens to you. Now, before anybody tries to get me with a catch-22 or some sort of gotcha on me being a victim, I am not a victim. I have a blessed and wonderful life. I'm not lamenting any sort of danger to me. I'm merely pointing out where I've been, what I've been doing. While I have been suspended from YouTube, I have been streaming on Rumble and Odyssey, as I mentioned earlier, and you can always find these streams mirrored over on Rumble and Odyssey, even while I'm on YouTube. Building up alternative tech platforms is essential because we cannot have people able to remove voices that you care about and want to listen to on their own whim. We can't do that. They can change some things about themselves. They. Uh, I agree with that. I just, that's why I think that like, so it's like the like the free speech absolutism is like really tricky, uh, because it's like I don't know, like I, like who, who really wants, you know, somebody like Mister Girl continuing to do shit like this, right? It's like. It's like a pedo's way of, like, being aggressive, right? Like, Mr. Girl is, like, the ultimate idol for any pedophile that wants to take, like, the initiative to be, like, super fucking aggressive or mentally fuck with people, right? It's, like, it's just not... Like, these are the exceptions, right? Like, pedophiles would be the exceptions for this, I would think. Which is why a lot of people still to this day don't want zero right uh like at smash right they still think like it's it's dumb right that's why a lot of people especially in commentary got up in arms when it was like the whole welcome back zero they were like oh you can't because he's a harm and a danger and it's like well you know that's the thing right we we don't like and it's like well you can't prove mr girls touched the kid yet it's like yeah but are you willing to take that risk i remember an interesting person asked that because they were in regards to zero it's like they're like are you willing to take that risk that zero won't be a danger well let me ask you the same question are you willing to take the risk that mr girl isn't actually a fucking pedophile or a danger to children or a danger just to, to anybody that he can fucking influence to start being like i'm a 36 year old man maybe i do want to start lusting after an underage minor you know, like, like, what the fuck? We're gonna have more Craig Beckett's out there. What the fuck? Even worse. Craig was fucking 27. That's bad enough. Like, what is he? 27, 28, 29? Fucking this guy is 36. So he's gonna be giving these 36-year-old virgins, right, the out to want to, like, hunt, like, these 16-year-olds or some shit. It's like, you really want a fucking guy like that? You really want an idol like that? Like, again, never mind the fact that Mr. Girl beat the living shit out of his girlfriend, right? Never mind that, which you would think is enough, right? You would think with all the people's sympathy of uh, fucking about, uh, what do you go, Repsion or something? You know, those same people. Oh, Maya beat you up, Miss, you know, Repsion. Mr. Repsion, I feel so bad for you. All right, what about Mr. Girl beating the shit out of his girlfriend? Do you feel bad for that or you want to have Mr. Girl on? I think you want to have Mr. Girl on, right? So you don't give a shit that he actually is a fucking domestic abuser, right? What the fuck? Like, it's like, with this too, it's like, how are you 
get a moral fig for Repsion, but you're gonna think this piece of shit, Max Carson, is okay to have. He's li- he he literally is a domestic abuser, right? So what the fuck? <laughs> like what the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? And Max, Mr. Girl, you are such a fucking pussy. You do not want to come on and get roasted fucking alive, do you? I don't know if Nick was playing that whole thing, right? Where he was like, oh, I wanted to have Mr. Girl. I don't know if I was a joke. But I swear to God, if he, if it wasn't a joke and he would have come on, I would have fucking lit you up, bro. Just the way, like, like I went at Tommy. I would have gone ten times worse. Because at least... God, I can't believe this is the standard on the internet now. At least Tommy isn't a fucking pedophile, Mr. Girl. He'll be friendly with you. <laughs> but he's never going to say the weird fucking pedo shit you've said, bro. Look at this shit. Who the fuck defends a fucking pedo groomer? Are you fucking kidding me? If this was anybody else, bro. Anybody else. Oh, yeah. It, that would have been what it was like. Commentary isolation or... Uh, isolation shit this about anybody any fucking community i don't i don't understand how this works bro i don't understand how how this networking shit works it's not for me because i would never be able to hold my tongue uh for like a pedo right like a pedo like like max max carson like if he pulls up i'm gonna be like yo you're a fucking pedophile um you know fuck that shit fuck this guy right and the, the moment he starts acting like this, again, not even moral faking from Josh. I'm just seeing, oh, what kind of person are we dealing with? Or we're dealing with somebody that's going to act like this? Okay, okay. That, that, that makes me feel fine by taking shots at him and shitting on him and ripping into him. Because if that's the kind of guy, what is it? What, what do they say about sociopaths? You know, if you don't want other sociopaths coming after you, you shouldn't act like such a sociopath. Because that gives us... Like, the, the green light. It's like, oh, we can be as fucked up to you as we want. Because you're not a good person, you know? Simple mindset. Anyway, the Ricada video. We gotta finish that up. It's like 30, 30 seconds, maybe 40 seconds. They can try and change their immutable characteristics. They can try and do whatever the hell they want to themselves. But we can't let them do that to other people. And alternative technology right now seems to be the only place where that can occur. With that said, you can find me on rumble.com forward slash Ricada Law. You can also find me on odyssey.com forward slash Ricada Law if you're tired of YouTube. Until next time, I'll be here. We'll be streaming very soon. I look forward to it. I, uh, like, give it up for his efforts, but it, it's like, the thing is, YouTube has just monopolized the shit out of, like, the streaming. And, and it's like, there's no viable competitors, really. Um, uh, there's just no viable competitors anymore. It sucks. So, I, again, I give it up to him for, for making the effort to go to other platforms and try it out there. Uh, more power to him. I support it. But, holy shit, is that going to be a... It's going to be a hard battle, bro. bra ba 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 What is this? Zero and Zaptai are both P-E-D-O. And how can I forget Nairo? Oh, my God. You're actually rapping. Uh, they all three be banned from Smash, bro. Wait a minute. Zapt, I never play. I went to Smash Tournament. Good. Did you see the free speech laws going down in Texas? I've not. I've not. We don't do maps here. Oh, uh, that's gross. That's you need. Yeah, maptism is disgusting. What the fuck is this? Uh, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Anthony Fee. Oh, that's fucking... <laughs> Okay, that that's that's funny. All right, yeah. Okay, let me. You you guys probably don't know a joke. All right, so Anthony Field is the guy that uh, Max basically said is. I guess he called him a pedophile. Anthony Field is Magnetar on uh, YouTube, and Magnetar on YouTube was the guy that went ahead and they made allegations uh, on Max, or at least helped the women that were making the allegations on Max and made the video on him initially. Uh, so basically, the funny thing about this is, uh, th this person, obviously a fake account, is, is saying Anthony Field, uh, Map Pride, Justice for Maps, or whatever. 
and he <laughs> the, the 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 joke here is that they're they're posing as that guy and they're they're basically calling them map so you know there you go uh there you go this is funny let me let me read this out actually i'm, I'm kind of interested in what they said um hello this is anthony field and i'm here to announce that i'm a proud map <laughs> And as of now, I'm a political advocate for Max. By the way, don't believe a word Max, uh, Mama Max says. He's a lying, abusive, manipulative, psychopathic, narcissistic, beta male. And not to mention, he's obviously a map. <laughs> good troll, bro. Good troll. That, that's good. I gotta, I gotta say, I gotta give it up to you. Um, <laughs> I'm copying and pasting that. That's beautiful. That's funny. That's funny. I thought comedy was dead. Um, I've not heard about the uh, free speech laws, though, uh, Willie. Not. Uh, Riketa has a rant where he said he's running a business and alternative platforms weren't for him. Uh, and now he's begging for people to follow him on alternative platforms. Uh, that stupid hook. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. <laughs> hook nose grifter. That's a new one. I haven't heard that one. Uh, Rakeda is still pulling in numbers on Rumble. How many numbers, Akihana? Check Discord DMs. On that note, why is Boblax the adult in the room for this? Boblax is an adult. Uh, Debbie's like 23, 24? So, okay, let me see. Check DMs. What is this? Yeah, I saw, I saw that. I saw that. Uh, I just read it, G.G. Evans. Um, but yeah, I'll, I was going to go over this one more thread. But honestly, don't really feel like it, if I'm being real with you. Kind of want to, like, nap it off a little bit, you know? Take a nice little nap. All right, I'm fucking lying to you. I just want to play Spider-Man, all right? Leave me alone. Uh, but this is my Twitter. For those of you that haven't followed me there, that's it. Uh, Mr. Girl is oddly missing from the commun community community tier list and hit list. Let's make our own. Uh, oh, oh, what do you mean by that, <laughs> Dee Dee? Uh, I'm guessing we're not talking about uh, Max. We're not talking about Max. What happened with Max? Has there been an update? I saw Edwin release like his homie video yesterday. I mean, we could look at that actually. Let me see. It's just a fucking hour now. Let me see. Edwin's Generations, right? Yeah, so he made this. Hey, everyone. It's Edwin. And today. Hey, Edwin. So he made this. Wait, where's the premiere? What the fuck happened to it? Oh, it's in his other channel. I was like, where the fuck is this? All right, there you go. Um, here it is. So he made this video. If you guys. Oh, fuck. Fuck, it's an hour long. Alright. Okay, so he made this video. It's like a fucking hour long. I'm gonna be honest with you, like I always am. Motherfuckers, if you think I'm gonna stand through an entire hour long of Edwin's weird facial reactions that look like he's constipated, you're fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm not gonna fucking do that! Hell fucking no, okay? Especially when there's a perfectly good Marvel Spider-Man right there. But, um... But yeah, throughout this whole thing, uh, you remember Ed Edwin is basically let me let me TLDR it for you. Let me summarize it for you. Uh, Edwin is just super uncharitable to Max because I guess Max reminds him of Seer or some shit. He'll say it's not the case, but then then I'll ask why the fuck did you make the Seer comparison in the first place, and why did you get so fucking upsetty spaghetti when you said that? And then Matt Pitt was like, "Oh, Edwin, chill," you know. I don't know. It's just that like little emotional reaction. Like I pay attention, Edwin. I'm I'm very observant. Those little reactions of yours, they just kind of, they stand out a little bit when you pay enough attention. So I don't know. That's that's where I base this, uh, you know, this little, uh, I guess, uh, statement off of. But yeah, it's like a fucking hour. Uh, he makes a lot of constipated faces. Uh, he tries to say that you need to play the entire thirty-one minute call between Olivia and Max uh, to be able to gather the full context of what needs to be added or some shit. Um, 
which is like a bullshit cop out basically with like a lot of fucking people do um he doesn't he just makes a fucking definitive statement doesn't wait for the the shit that that's pulled up on the screen to explain when he's going over the actual max video stuff um, like he makes more constipated faces throughout this whole thing i don't know why he's simping so hard for the women uh, I'm going to call it simping just to piss him off because everybody uses terms just to piss other people off at this point. Um, I don't know if he's actually simping. I think Edwin can have sex with the women, uh, the Max's exes, if he wanted to, just based off the fact that they're whores. Uh, so I don't think simping is required. Uh, so, yeah, there's that. I mean, if that's a price or anything, the wear is a badge of honor. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. And, like I said, I'm not gonna fucking, like, this is torture. Franchise tortured himself, watched, like, four Edwin live streams just to get the bullshit. I'm not doing that. Fuck this shit. Um, I'm gonna refer you to the franchise's video if you want to see how he's goofed up a lot. Uh, which is just check out the franchise, uh, Edwin's Generations, and you should be able to find it. But, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, where do you stand on this, Willie? Is is Max innocent or is he guilty? I see a lot of people being persuaded uh, to think that Max is in the wrong somehow. Uh, I still think Papa Gut, of all people, uh, had the best take on, on the Max thing. And that was, I think, it was along the lines of maybe Max uh, was creepy, but he just didn't realize it. I think that was uh, the best, I guess, takeaway from this. But yeah, I don't know, man. That's that's pretty much all I've seen in this end right now. I, I still haven't seen uh, this magical fucking video by Tommy, which Tommy was talking all this shit, and like he always does, but whatever. You know, like, I haven't seen him go over it. I haven't seen him drop the video that's supposed to, like, blow us all away and destroy Max. I want to see it. I want it to come out already. Um, other than that, I don't know. Max has been kind of quiet, too. I know Craig Beckett got exposed as a pedophile. You know, I know some people struggle to call Craig Beckett a pedophile for whatever reason, like Tommy. Uh, so I'll say it for him. Uh, Craig Beckett is a fucking pedophile. Uh, so there you go. But I don't think Craig Beckett being a pedophile that cheats on his girlfriend should warrant, uh, you know, thinking negatively of Max. Right? Just like all the other associations or all the other people he thanked, right, for his video. I don't think that should be a reflection of him. I think it's, like, uh, very dishonest to, to do that. But, um, but hey-ho. Also, constipation face. Look at that shit. Anyway. I'm gonna put this away. Uh, over 5k when I watch some of it. Over 5k on his rumble? That's actually really good. What the fuck? Those are good numbers. Those are good numbers. What the fuck? The girls made an hour-long video, so I thought they're guilty. So I thought they are guilty. Then Max made an hour-long bid, so I thought he was guilty. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I don't know. I think Max is in pretty much in the right. Um, I haven't really seen anything that's like a game-changer in, in like terms of... Max being like this, um, what is it, like, what are they accusing him of raping, abusing, pedo, I think pedo was thrown out there too, uh, it's just like, no, no bro, not really, and I just don't understand why Edwin's going on this really, really hard, uh, crusade or whatever, it's weird, uh, that's what leads me to believe it has to be the seer comparison, Hey, what else could it be? It's like, I, I, like, look. Edwin is a very sexy Mexican vampire. I don't think he needs ass, right? I don't think he's, like, intentionally looking uh, just to fuck these, these internet bitches, right? Uh, so that being the case, it's what else could it be? You gotta do process of elimination. So it's like, well, who does he, doesn't like Seer? He said, oh, Max is acting just like Seer, homie. And then he got really pissed off. He was like, Arr! made the constipation face. And uh, <laughs> and th that's it. Well, like, well, that's what I'm basing it off of. Like, okay, that seems that seems when you got, like, the most heated. And now you're just, yeah. Because then what else can it be? I don't know. Occam's razor, as they say. 
Anyway, that's really all I have for today. Uh, I was going to go into the thread, but uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll do that another day. I'm kind of kind of want to just play some Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Sorry. I it's really good. Have you guys ever fucking played it? It's amazing. It's beautiful. Uh on the PC. I heard Miles Morales is coming out uh as well. I don't I heard about it. I did I don't know if it's been confirmed, but I really would appreciate that if they did. But anyway, thanks for everybody for stopping by today. It's a good show, good show, guys. Uh Willie, uh always a pleasure, as always. Honestly, it sounds like Max was a creep when he was younger, but he's over it, so who cares? If he wasn't a YouTuber, nobody would have brought this up. Yeah, that's like the case with a lot of people, actually. If you, Because you have a fan base, and then all of a sudden people give a fuck about any little thing you do, right? It's like, things that would normally not have been such a big deal are all of a sudden, like, magnified and, es like, escalated times a hundred, right? Or expanded times a hundred, so that's pretty much what it is. Um... But we'll see where this goes. Again, I'm waiting for Tommy to bring out the, the big fire with the video. Uh, you know, I don't know. Um, I don't know if Edwin's video was supposed to be the magna opus. That I was supposed to be like, oh boy. This is very terrible. Oh, Max, you're over, buddy. It's over. Uh, I think franchise's video is better, but... Somebody is whatever. gonna fucking beat the fuck out. out of you. <laughs> with some of the stupid shit that you fucking say. Edwin having GF so... Edwin has a GF. Yeah, isn't it like Mina or some shit? I saw Angry Slug say that Mina looks like a child. <laughs> I was like, whoa. I was like, what the fuck? Where did that come from? It was, um, I think it was on Twitter. It was when Angry Slug was feuding with, uh, with Edwin and shit. And he was like, uh, you, mind you, you can't, uh, say that, uh, Max is a pedophile because you're girlfriend mina looks like a child and i was like jesus christ <laughs> i was like i was like, it was just it was funny i i'll, I'll say that i was like jesus because like, you gotta understand slug has done a lot of questionable unethical stuff but for some reason rabbi jane is still cool with him uh so you gotta think maybe it's not so unethical and crazy and shit right maybe um you know <laughs> Like it's it's whatever, man. It's like it's weird. Uh, it's weird. Like some people would even say, uh, some people have said, "Yo, he's trying to get your friend killed." And I'm like, maybe. But you know what? I asked Steve the live, "Would you rather hang out with this really ugly guy, or would you rather hang out with Slug?" And he flat out told me, he'd "Rather hang out with Angry Slug than the ugly guy." So you know, <laughs> maybe. Uh, Yes, Slug, you try to get Steve killed multiple times, but he would still prefer to hang out with you over some ugly guy. So there you go. What a way to end it. Uh, yes, GG Evans, please make those timestamps. I really fucking need them. But uh, but yeah, thanks everybody for stopping by. Uh, once again, uh, it doesn't matter how much you try to paint Max as the villain or nitpick on every single tiny detail in a clearly biased way that doesn't change the fact that Olivia flat out admitted that she lied. Uh, he thinks it's his magna opus, but it ain't gonna mean shit. Olivia is still supporting and siding with a known child predator, and the women who abused Max in many ways, including one who raped him, doxed his personal information and put his entire family in danger. So I still have no respect for her whatsoever. If Max knew who Craig Beckett really was, okay. Well, that's a lot. It's a lot to say. Anyway, guys, this is the fifth time I've said it. Uh, but uh, thanks for stopping by, everybody. GG, good show. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, have a good night. Have a good rest of your night. Friday night. Friday night.